Because follow me. A friend of mine and yours filled me in on most of the action that happened on the floors above. They mentioned a nosy human parent being involved. Sound familiar? Listen, I was trusted with the final piece of the scepter, and I do not plan on breaking this crust. And to achieve that, I need your help. Look at the destruction around you. This was all done with an incomplete scepter in a matter of seconds. A full scepter in the hands of Dada Do is the guaranteed death of all of us. Let's make sure it doesn't come to that. And luck might just be on our side. I imagine that at this point you're familiar with this green specimen of incredible size and strength drawn on the board. It attacked our city a few hours ago. Most likely because it's either too scared to stay in the dark, or because the Naughty Ones and Sir Dadadu aren't leaving it alone. And how are we lucky that we got attacked, you ask? My plan just happens to involve recapturing the Green Gorilla, and using it to fight Sir Dadadu's army, and reclaim the scepter to its rightful owners. Problem is, the Green Gorilla has vanished after the attack and I've been trying to find it since. And it's too dumb for Dadadu's powers to work on it, so I'm not too concerned about that. It's just a matter of finding this beast, imprisoning it, and releasing it when the time is right. Oh, that reminds me. I have just a thing for you. Let's see what my assistants have prepared for us. Shall we? I introduce to you Remote 2.0, a name I totally didn't make on the spot. Take it, it's all yours. I see a pathetic piece of equipment like your old remote, and the tinkerer inside me goes crazy. Let's put it to the test. See that control panel over there? That's where you'll go when you need to take control of your drone. This new remote will act like a password. It'll give you access to the control panels. Of course, you can still use it the old-fashioned way, but some situations will require you to view things from a different perspective. There's a big button on the opposite side of this wall. Let's see if you can hit it while you maneuver your drone.
But that wasn't too hard, was it? It was. Well, too bad. That's your problem. We'd better get to find in that green gorilla. I have no idea what Sir Dadadoo's planning, but something tells me it ain't pretty. There's a witness waiting for me on one of the streets, and I've got a mess that i got to clean up thanks to you. Why don't you go talk to them instead? I told them I might not come myself anyway, and instead send someone. So they'll talk to you. The city is lit up, so it should be safe from the naughty ones. You should have seen Dada do in his prime. That guy had ambition and dedication that I've yet to see contested. What your kind has done to him and us. It forced him to dedicate all that potential to try and eradicate those that created him. Now to ease your nerves, I don't think he's after you. He's after those that betrayed him, which includes me. If only we weren't such cowards when we were caught and actually stood by him, maybe we would have been victorious. The scepter was first given to the queen as some meaningless prop, to help her settle better into her role, you know? All those extra features, like being able to take control of the brain component of those around you, is the work of a very talented surgeon and technician who is uh, too humble to name himself. When the heart-shaped end of the scepter touches a gyvanium-based body, the scepter acts as a vessel and transfers and prints a genetic code of the scepter holder into the receiver's brain component. This allows these bodies to receive commands only from whoever takes control of it. Now, we don't all have a transferable genetic code, but Sir Dadadu and the Queen do.